everyone, welcome to another episode of Carolyn and Her Clothes. So today is a viewer request. I had mentioned in a video that my daughter is gonna be graduating high school and I was talking about what shoes I was gonna wear with the dress that I was thinking about wearing. So somebody asked if I can do um, styling dresses for graduation. So in this video, I am going to be styling um, all my spring dresses. I figured I might as well do this video and dust these dresses off because they haven't been worn since 2019. <laughs> Um, yeah, these are all dresses that I would would have worn to the office probably from the months of April through July and until it got too hot. Um, sometimes I would still wear them in July and sometimes not in, in August. Uh, so give me a minute, let me get the camera situated and I'll show you the full outfit. Okay, so the first outfit I have on is, uh, pretty much all these dresses are from White House Black Market, if not all of them. Um, it is actually a turquoise in color. I'm looking here on the, the camera and it looks more of like a medium blue, but this is definitely turquoise. Okay, with that I have paired uh, these shoes. They're the Lucky Brand sandals that I have that are wedge and these are extremely comfortable. And there's some turquoise in the shoes. They're um, like a chevron style with turquoise and tan. And I got these at Macy's probably, oh my gosh, it might have been as, close, as much as 10 years ago. So this is absolutely appropriate for the office or if you wanted to wear to a graduation. So here are the shoes. Okay, give me a minute and I'll show you the next one. Next up is a red dress also from White House Black Market. Um, it's uh, a floral pattern. I guess there, there are poppies or possibly pansies on it. I'll come a little bit closer so you can see. Um, the flowers have some pink in them and white. This also might be a decent Valentine's Day dress if you don't live in a cold environment like I do. With it, I have paired a pair of black peak toe slingbacks. And this is what um, I would wear when I went into the office in the springtime. Okay, give me a minute and next outfit. Next up, I have this blue dress, also from White House Black Market. As you can see, it's probably my favorite place to shop for dresses. Um, it has like a scoop back in the back and then a higher neck in the front and just a tie and elasticized waist. Um, this comes a little to my knee and with it I have paired these fun little, um, you know, peep toe slides. So, and this is what I would wear to the office or I would wear to my daughter's graduation. Since I am not going to the office, um, I figured I'd just try these on for you now. Give me a minute and I'll show you the next one. Okay, next up is another White House Black Market dress. I got this in spring, probably March of 2020, so two years ago, when Silly Me thought we'd be going back to the office and be able to wear this. I think I've worn this once, um, possibly to my mother-in-law's 80th birthday dinner, I'm not sure. Uh, it has the uh, ruching here around the sleeves. It has pretty little silver buttons in it. It is like a watercolor in different colors, blues and purples and a little tan. And it does have some silver metallic threads running through it. And you're gonna have to excuse my pale white legs and my unpolished toenails. It is winter here in New Jersey and I would not be wearing this in the winter. I would make sure I have a pedicure and do some self tanner on my legs before I went to my daughter's graduation. So this is uh, another beautiful dress. Um, I'm, like I said, this is probably the one I'm gonna wear. And reason why I'm choosing this one out of the others is one, it, it hasn't really gotten any kind of use. And number two, it goes well with the silver sandals and the silver sandals don't have too high of a heel and they're a thicker heel and it is going to be an outdoor ceremony. All right, stay tuned for the next dress. Next up is this white snake skin dress. It has grays and lavenders as the snake skin, but it's very soft and muted. If this dress looks very similar to the other one, it is because it is the same dress. Yes, yes, I bought two of the same dresses in just a different pattern. It again has the silver buttons down here. This one does not have metallic fed through, growing through it. It's just a, an, a, a soft white with uh, some grays and lavenders. I'll come closer so you can see the print. Like I said, it's a snakeskin style, elastic waist, and has a little ruffled hem on the bottom. This one I decided to wear with a pair of white INC sandals, which I'll pan down so you can see. All right, um, this again would be appropriate for graduation. Again, this got was purchased in 2020 and has had limited use. 
I can definitely uh, wear this to, uh, to the graduation. The, the shoes are comfortable enough and a low enough heel that's thick enough that I think would be okay outside. But I think I'm still leaning towards the other one. And again, it depends on the weather. I mean, these are long sleeves, but the sleeves are extremely thin and sheer. And usually we have like 70 degree-ish weather that time of year, but you never know. It could also go up to 90, so that can change my whole plan. All right, take, stay tuned, and I have still quite a few more dresses to show you. Okay, so I'm kind of glad I'm doing this video. So this next dress is quite old. It's from White House Black Market, and it's a size six, and sadly, it's too big for me now. So the armholes are too big, and it's just too big here in the bust. The hips aren't too bad. There's a little bit of room in the hips, but the, the top part is just entirely too big. Um, so I'm gonna have to, unfortunately, give this dress away. It is a beautiful ivory dress that can easily stain, but it is absolutely beautiful. It has some heft and weight to it, so I would not consider it as a summer dress, because if you live anywhere where it's really hot, it's gonna be very heavy, because it has the polyester lining and the material is quite thick. Now, I was totally confused by this dress, because when I pulled it out of my closet, I had two belts hanging on it. I had this belt, which appears to match the dress, all right, however, it doesn't fit through the belt loops. The belt loops are tiny. And on this dress, I have this thin little belt, which really doesn't quite match. <laughs> this fits the loops. So I'm not quite sure exactly uh, what the deal is with this belt and this belt. And because this doesn't fit the loops and there's no other like thing to hold this in place, and because it's a larger size, it kind of flops on me here. There's nothing to hold this down. So I think I'm gonna give both belts and the dress away. So I'm kind of glad that I did this little try on. Um, this was a beautiful dress when I wore it, and yes, I probably could get it altered. But again, I've not had very um, much success with alterations on any of my clothing, and uh, I end up paying a lot of money, and they come out wonky. So again, I have nowhere to wear this dress to. Um, I'll just give it away to somebody who can hopefully find some use for it. And if you are a size six and like this dress, and want it to reach out to me and perhaps I can ship it to you. All right. I just, you just have to pay for shipping. All right. Give me a minute and, um, I will, uh, try on the next dress. I realized I forgot to show you the shoes that I paired with this dress. I paired a pair of ivory colored pumps. Okay. Um, when I wore this dress, sometimes I actually would switch out the belt for a black uh, belt and wear black uh, strappy sandals with this, um, like pat patent leather sandals, and the belt would be patent leather too. But uh, obviously, I'm not going to be wearing this again. All right, stay tuned. All right, this dress is also a White House black market dress, and it's also a size six, but for whatever reason, this one fits me a lot better. You can see that it actually quite fits me quite well across the top here. Um, no bagging and, and no gaping here and showing my bra. This one has pockets, all right? This one does not have a belt. I actually checked to make sure there's no belt loops. It just has the seaming here to give it a nice waist and it's that fit and flare style, which I think is universally flattering on everyone. With it, I have paired um, a pair of suede red peep toe sandals. I think these are kind of cute. <laughs> um, and go well with the dress. Also a very comfortable shoe. Um, yeah, I like this dress and this is much lighter weight, um, although it does have the polyester lining, this is much, much lighter weight than the other one. And um, but yeah, I like this dress, I think it's kind of a cute dress and I actually wore this last summer, I had an opportunity to wear it last summer visiting a friend. So um, I might wear this for graduation, but I feel I got my wear, wears out of it between when I wore it to the office and at least last summer. All right, give me a minute, still got more going. Up next is another White House black market dress, which is definitely more form-fitting. This is a knit dress, and I bought it in 2019 when I went to Vegas uh, for a vacation, and I was a little bit thinner then, <laughs> so it's only a little bit more form-fitting me on me now, so uh, I would have to wear shapewear with this. With it, I have paired these um, gold sandals. Now these aren't 100% gold. They're actually like um, like a fabric, almost like a muslin or burlap type of material. And it has gold thread running through that part. And then the edge is trimmed in gold. So they're not 100% gold. All right. Um, 
they're more like a mate muted gold. And it has the, the ruching here, which I find very flattering. And this is just a fake tie. It can you just, you know, it just kind of comes undone. You don't really, you know, it doesn't tighten anything. It's just a bow. All right, and this is my outfit and I'm not turning around because I need some shapewear. All right, give me a minute and I'll show you the next dress. Okay, up next, no surprise, another White House black market dress. So this is a faux wrap style on top. The bottom is just a plain, I guess, sheath style. This one is reversible. I am not going to show you the reverse side as a try-on, but I'll show you it. it has a black geometric pattern on the other side. I've actually never worn it on that side. I bought the dress for this side and for the fit it had. So this is a size four. Usually I'm at size two petite, and the two petite will come to the same spot. And this is a regular size four. So it just shows to show you, you just gotta try in all different sizes. This fit to me fits to me like a two petite would, not a regular size four. So this dress obviously ran small. With it I have paired um, my navy blue peep toes. Okay, um, have these again for years upon years. And again, excuse the white legs. All right, give me a minute and I'll give you the next dress. We're coming down to the... Okay, up next is this Kaylee dress that I got from Stitch Tricks. You're probably like, finally, something that's not White House Black Market. So I requested this in one of my boxes. Another YouTuber got this and I thought it was so cute. This is nowhere near the quality of a White House Black Market dress. This is super thin, slinky polyester spandex. Whereas the other dresses, yes, they were polyester, but they had a much better quality. This, although it hasn't snagged on me yet, and I've had it for years, um, is easily snaggable because it is so thin. Um, at least I would think it's easily snaggable. So it has the fit and flare style, and it has the V-neck in the front and the plunging V in the back. When I wore this to the office, I would wear a cami underneath it and I would pair it with this light gray Skyzer blue blazer to kind of make it more professional looking, you know, so you didn't see the big V in the back. And this, I, I mentioned before in my other videos, is an awesome blazer. If you're ever offered this blazer through Stitch Fix, I would snag it. I think this is, at least this particular color, it's a light gray, very versatile, vers very soft, very comfortable. Um, in an air conditioning, it is not too warm, um, and I think it's a great thing for spring. So either tan or gray, um, a lighter color, I think this blazer is totally worth it. Um, and if you come closer, you'll see there's some gray here in the flower. So it goes very well with the dress, um, and it makes it professional as long as I have like a little white cami on underneath, which I did when I wore it to the office, okay? Um, with it, I paired again the same red shoes. Okay, so there is nothing wrong with this dress. Just beware that it's not the same kind of quality as White House Black Market dresses. That said, I think this was $54, and usually uh, White House Black Market dresses retail for more than twice that. Um, with White House Black Market, I always wait for sale, and you can get dresses there for $60, not so the one you wanted, because they might have sold out, but they do mark down dresses as low as $60 at White House Black Market. Um, so that's why I have so many of their dresses is because I typically waited for a sale or coupon because the retail price is very expensive there. All right, I have one final dress to show you. Give me a minute. All right, very last dress. So I actually do have more dresses than this, but they're like spaghetti strap style and I just don't think appropriate for either graduation or if you worked in an office. Um, so I'm not gonna show you in this edition. This is also a stitch fix dress, all right? This quality dress is much better than the last one. The last one was a Kaylee. This one is by 41 Hawthorne. This, again, is polyester, but it is lined, okay? Um, it has also, it's also a thicker polyester, and I just feel a pretty decent quality. This quality I would put equivalent to what White House black market dresses are. So this is a faux wrap style. So you can see you're not gonna have any wardrobe malfunctions with this. This is just um, a just an extra layer that they have on top. The tie, uh, you know, is a regular tie waist. This is also, too, what I consider quality. It's not a piece of thread for belt loops. They actually put belt loops in here. So I don't know if you can see that or not, all right? Um, and actually, I have my belt twisted around the loop versus through the loop, so I'll have to fix that. But this is a real belt loop and not a piece of thread. So this was a quality made dress, in my opinion. So I got this again, unfortunately, in May, about May of 2020, 
when silly me thought we'd be going back to the office. Uh, so uh, this one has like uh, palm leaves on it. So I'll come a little bit closer so you can see the pattern. And I had actually wanted palm leaves. I didn't have anything palm leaves and I wanted something a little bit tropical. And it's in kind of like a cross between a Kelly green and a teal green. So it's not white either. And with it, I have uh, paired the heeled slides in white. All right, thank you again for staying with me on this journey of channeling spring. I know it's quite early for this, but it was a viewer request to get an idea of graduation dresses. Um, I think all these are appropriate for graduation. I can wear any one of them. I'm leaning towards the watercolor one, but we'll have to see how the weather plays out. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, why not? I usually do a lot of unboxings, try-ons, and hauls, but I've been doing a lot of Shop My Closet wardrobe series and some styling because I'm on a no-buy for the next two months. Um, end of February is when it ends. Um, I'm week three and I'm dying. <laughs> I'm starting to run out of ideas for you all. So if you have any ideas, put them down in the comments. Give me a thumbs up and click that notification bell if you haven't already. Take care and until next time.